Switzerland is famous for its rich tradition in chocolate production. But the Swiss also seem to love consuming chocolate. In 2021, the yearly per capita consumption was about 11 kilos. That's half a bar per person per day. Our love for chocolate, however, doesn't usually mean that we think much about the journey from cocoa farms to the finished chocolate bar we can buy in stores, and whether that journey is socially or environmentally conducive. Producing commodities like cocoa beans, the main ingredient for making chocolate, is often tied to injustice and various unethical activities, such as poor working conditions, child labor, deforestation and the loss of biodiversity, a lack of civil and political rights, and inequitable gender relations. Furthermore, pricing can be a considerable issue for farmers. Up to 95% of cocoa beans are traded on global commodity markets that are prone to trends and strong fluctuations. That's why activists and consumers in importing countries are increasingly demanding regulations and incentives for companies to source raw materials in a way more sensitive to human rights and the environment, and for commodity traders to provide just and stable prices. But that turns out to be quite the task. As with many food products, the journey of chocolate is a complex one. Between the cocoa farmer and the chocolate lover, there are many other actors involved. 77% of the world's cocoa originates from Africa and is traded, shipped and processed all around the globe. More than a third of all cocoa beans are processed in Europe by a series of large companies based in the Netherlands, France and Germany, for example. They provide the cocoa mass, cocoa butter and cocoa powder used by chocolate producers in Switzerland and other countries. The production of chocolate stands as a symbol for many other food systems and raises a vital question. How can raw materials be sourced sustainably when non-transparent and seemingly consolidated intermediary markets are in the way? Should the enterprises at the end of the value chains engage in shorter supply chains? How can the intermediary industries be regulated in a better manner? Or should politics provide concrete public incentives to foster more diversified sourcing and better outcomes on the ground, for example through tariff differentiation, tax incentives, public procurement and so on, 